worked in IT, I had like three or four cups a day. And even then, you're probably at the lower end of the scale. Probably. I saw it only recently. Apparently, we Swedes consume something like 9.5 kilograms of coffee per year, or whatever it was. Oops, I dropped for a moment there. Oh well. Come on, Bianco. You're not Bianco at all, by the way. Also, Bianco is spelled with a C, I believe, which would mean that this is Bianco, which is the diminutive form in Japanese, which would mean that this is a girl whose actual name is Bian, but Bian is a Chinese name, so you wouldn't use a Japanese particle. <gasps> Fuck! Ah, uh, damn it. <laughs> oh, hey, it's a case here. She's more infuriating by the moment. This game can't do anything right. If it had been Bianco, then it would have been awesome, though, because it is a mythological animal. <laughs> Wait, I I am the Yunko? But that's a girl's name. Sick burn. Whoops. I was a lady mm -hmm. all along. I think I know what reference he's making, but I don't know how it really refers to that. To this, like, how it makes any sense. Oh well. It's Chef Ace. It probably doesn't make much sense. Ha <laughs> ha! Using my p my sole position of ability to just own you, bro. And if you actually give give an excellent counterpoint to re verbal repost, I'm not going to read it out loud. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, so this level four is all done. So you can just walk off stage, bro. And now we have a geisha. Once she's trained up, we will be pretty done. I can hardly contain my excitement. Alright, you know what? It's getting 1am in the morning. I really should go to bed now. I will not keep you. Alright, so... Have fun, guys, with horses and shit, and... I don't know. <laughs> Just keep Take going, care. you can make it. Yeah. Alright, good night, people. Don't stop, Sleep carry well. on. Sleep well. Yeah. Thanks. Skeleton age, there was, I brought this up, 0.7% of the people who own this game have the game ending achievement. Now I suspect that roughly 0.6% are actually people who have used Steam Achievement Unlock to just, you know, Grab that shit for whatever reason. <coughs> but, you know. That's cheating. Yeah, I know. All these hardcore Steam hackers really need to get their horse achievement. Well, you, you would be surprised, but there is actually a really large group of people online who do sheet themselves Steam achievements. I don't know why. Bragging rights, I suppose. I can understand that to some extent, but why with the horse game? Because much like those, like, ps3platinum.com or whatever it is, it's all about how many achievements you have and how many games you've maxed out. It's all about out. the numbers. Yeah, it's like those people, the achievement hunters on 360 that buy things like Avatar The Last Airbender, get all the achievements in the tutorial mission and then just throw away the game disc. They specifically hunt down games with simple achievements and buy them specifically just to grab all the achievements and then they never play the game. Well, it's you all need a big number. Yeah, it's all about who has the big number. That's number Wang. Because it's <laughs> their it e because it's their e penis. See, so it is a double bottom joke. Speaking of double bottom, I think that my I don't think I can feel my butt anymore. <laughs> my heart, my heart rate has basically slowed, and all my limbs have stopped moving except for two fingers. Oh dear! We're becoming one with the horse. 
Yeah, I mean, last swing you sat and ate raw oats. You can't be any more horse like than that. Uh, I actually still have the bag of oats right next to me, and I'm really hungry. <laughs> Those Guess what? oats are looking oh tastier by the moment. Guess what? Guess what, what? I just did? You, you have to look. tweeted <laughs> fan art? <laughs> it's terrible. Please don't take me. Maybe I should bring it up on the screen, then what will you do? Then Everyone. I will laugh. It's already public. <laughs> it's too late. It already went public. <laughs> yes. Yes. Let's see. Oh shit, that is totally me. You drew that thing you said you would. And I like it. Let's see. Yep, this is exactly what I ordered, and it's amazing. <laughs> that is totally me, by the way. You see, Pantheur and I have actually met in real life, She's in, so she knows what I look like. Congratulations. <laughs> this is the greatest thing. Thank you. Thank you so much. This should be the entire stream, just this picture. <laughs> <laughs> just put the audio over there. <laughs> Chef Ace, bro, I'm not an elf. Back <laughs> off. Don't bring your freaking speciesism into this. I bet you just see pointy ears and you think elf. Wow, you're such a speciesist. God damn. People like you make me sick. There's goblins, hobgoblins, uh, Hyruleans, orcs, bugbears. No, wait. No, not gnolls. <laughs> Ors oh, well. has also got pointy ears. Man, mm. I, I wish I was Hylian. That would be pretty rad, actually. If I was Link ERL, things would be different around here. For starters, every time the horse jump, I would go, Yeah! 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 <laughs> yeah, the stream wouldn't be that entertaining, because you wouldn't, you know, actually say words, ever. Uh, maybe that would actually improve the quality of the stream. <laughs> now someone on YouTube is going to come and oh, yeah, for real, so, ho, ho, ho. but I can see right through you, YouTube. You actually love me. They're Sundere. Yeah, Sundere as fuck. Sundere is a term in Japanese to describe a girl that acts aggressive or distant, but slowly but surely warms up to the main character. It is usually pronounced, translated, or localized as sweet and sour, which makes no fucking sense. Sounds delicious. I know, right? I could go for some Chinese right now. I could go for some some dairy chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I need to open an anime-based restaurant that has shit like that. I mean, I know that you have maid cafes and stuff where the maids act sundere specifically so that you can enjoy your glorious animu life, ERL. But I mean, just shit. I have like sundere sandwich and shit, the way you basically, the outer bread is really, really hard and stale, but inside it's foie gras. And no. yes, and yes, Nia, we were, we would also serve the kawaii potato, which is basically a Mrs. Potato Head sort of thing, where we dry, draw a really happy girlish face on it, and a smile, and a wink, and it says, I choose you, senpai, in a small speech bubble. Oh, God. Oh, no. Well, incidentally, Arthur, would you like to invest in a food truck? <laughs> got a great idea. Just, dri just drives through the town, the speakers of the car is blasting Hare Hare Yukai everywhere it goes. <laughs> and if you know what today. that is, if you know what that is, you are a nerd. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with that. Then I'm a nerd. No, I am the nerd. <laughs> no, I am the great anime nerd. A friend of mine told me today that uh, Bands in Japan don't allow their members to have relationships with 
other people. They have to stay single for the fans, so the fans can have something to fantasize about. Yep, idols are supposed to be perfect virgins that do not date men. I brought this up before, but one of my favorite things ever in the whole world, because it's so bad, was that idol that actually admitted in a TV interview that she was not a virgin, and two days later her mailbox was basically full with death threats, and there were people on 2chan posting how they were ripping asunder her posters off her with knives, and smashing the dozens of copies of CD her CDs that they had bought to support her and stuff like that, and it's like, okay. But that's so weird. If if they if she can't date fans, then why bother fantasizing about her? Because she's and she's pure. She is the closest they can get to two D in this three D pig disgusting world. <laughs> Basically, it's the same reason why most male loser virgins, sorry to use the term, but I mean, come on, this is basically what <laughs> we're talking about. The so desire female virgins because they are so insecure in their sexuality that they need someone who is like them untouched. The idea that a woman has previous experience terrifies them, but because they have no idea how to deal with women because they never meet any. And yes, as Frankenstein brings up, uh, because I basically had an epiphany the other day, is that. Weightlifters and bodybuilders are actually the most pig disgusting people in the world because they are striving to become more 3D. They are trying to add a depth to their physiques. <laughs> they strive every day to become more and more 3D. Well, that's an interesting view on it. That is why bodybuilders so are the worst. Anorexics are the, are the most beautiful because they try to become more 2D. <laughs> exactly. It is why 4chan says that flat chests are superior, because that's the closest you can come to 2D on a female chest. I see. Oh, internet. Basically, the creepy, creepier you are, the more points I give you, because I find you hilarious. I basically view the internet as an ongoing anthropologic experiment carried out specifically for my entertainment. That's a less depressing way of looking at things. Yep, and that's exactly why I use that approach. Hello, oh, shit. Ske Skeleton H, don't even, don't even bring up muscle wizards because I'm actually part of the muscle wizard group on Fitocracy. <laughs> I am a muscle wizard. I think Muscle Warlocks are cooler. <laughs> they have made a unholy ritual that has bound them to the muscle. And now the muscle's power is theirs to command. But it comes at a price. What you is must that? buy the unholy elixir known as Muscle Milk. <laughs> is that like magical Fuck. steroids or something? Fucking Muscle Milk, goddamn. Muscle milk is basically the most calorie dense uh, drink that exists, and it markets itself as for bodybuilders, but it's really for fat people. <laughs> Pretty much. Oh. It works for people like me, though, because shit. I eat like 3,500 mm. kilocalories a day, and I barely keep weight. Wanna switch, switch metabolism with me? No. I'm perfectly fine where I am. And yes, Rapsa, you have been slacking on Fitocracy. Shape up. Whoa! You want to be a Fitocrat, don't you? Get boof. You want to rule the world with your muscles. Exactly. Today I declare this nation a fitocracy, and then I flex. <laughs> and everyone, everyone standing and watching the speech also start flexing as tear off their shirts and pants and show off their striations, bulging biceps, and defined <laughs> quadriceps. And the population of Swalonia, ruled yeah. by fitocracy. 
The problem I is that it is just... a very inf ineffective nation. Our productivity is basically zero because people work out three hours a day and then they're too tired to do anything else. I Everyone is also you... super narcissistic and self-obsessed. Right, now I... I'm going to let you talk, Lupus. Sorry for that. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I, ju I just uh, got this mental image in my head of you looking like Major Armstrong from uh, Full Metal Alchemist. That is not even my final form. <laughs> On horse. What the hell? A horse know. is a horse is a horse, of course. Except for when it's a fire steed. Well, actually, it's still a horse. Technically, it's a horse organism classification. Horse is equine. The funny thing is that once this is put to video, it will have been over a week since the video where I explained why horse organism classification was fun to me. <laughs> Which means that people will see this video and go, wait, wait, he mentioned that earlier. They're going to go back like six or seven videos and listen to it again and go, oh, and then they're going to continue this one. You should put, put a link in the video <laughs> to that exact moment. <laughs> That's spoon feeding. People should do their own research. Um, Golly gee, yellipers. Let's breed some horses. Let's bring it a little oh, yeah. <coughs> Shit, why am I even... Can we get a better one of these? Preferably one that isn't 10 million dollars. Why are they all 10 million dollars? What is that blue stat? It's the condition. Basically, it's stamina. And the horses need to have high enough stamina uh. to do anything. Need to feed it muscle milk continually. Just a large IV containing muscle milk. Constant trip. <laughs> That's like something from Idiocracy. Ah. Uh. I'll be sure to try that when I'm a nurse. <laughs> Go for it. Uh, no, Sneen, I believe that the red bar is spirit, and the blue is condition. Spirit. It's the horse's ghostliness. And there we go, Clarissa, the level 5 uh, foyer horse. Elistor, no, the red is spirit and the blue is condition. Again, please be, please be nice to me, I've been playing games for hours. Get your horse bars straight, Arthur. Your horse bars, yeah. Shit, I want a horse bar now. Is it like... Like some sort of protein bar, only it's based around horse meat jerky? <laughs> oh, That's, meat that sounds jerky. tasty. Yeah, because I would eat that in a flash. I would gobble that shit down. You have no fucking idea. I'm sure you can get some horse jerky somewhere. It's actually really tricky to get that sort of thing in Sweden, actually. Because we don't eat horse. Which is a shame. Yeah. We should. Horse meat is tasty. And you'd have it pre-cooked if you only had fire steeds. <laughs> just cut slabs of them. <laughs> Let's see, I wonder if we can just send them out to do the quest right away. Let's try that, actually. Do we even have to level the horse up, or can you just go grab that fucking crystal? Right, Vulkan. Du hast gehört, dass einer der verlorenen Kristalle im Grunde eines Vulkans verborgen ist. Wenn du ein besonderes Gesundheit. Pferd hast, das der Hitze widerstehen kann, wird er den Kristall bringen können. 
So basically we're sending the fire seed into the depths of a volcano. No, that sounds about right. Off you go. Yeah, sounds right. God damn it, the horse is not trained enough. Well then, it's time to push it to the limit. Past the point of no return, just... And now you have the, wait, the wait, eye of the on. tiger in the background. Hold on, the horse is already burning. So it... huh. Because then you know the next line is go on and let it burn, but the horse is already on fire. Yeah, just clip through that obstacle, I don't even care. He's on fire. He's on fire. NBA horse jam. Is it the hooves? Cash started. Alistor, I really should start playing Push It To The Limit, shouldn't I? Can someone give me an infinite looper link to a good version of Push It To The Limit on YouTube? So that we can just play it and keep it going? That, that Preferably a horse-themed version. <laughs> Just random nays and winnies There's probably in the like an equestrian fan video that has a... <laughs> Pony version XXX. God damn, that was a terrible run. Whoa, wait, hold on. 245 Ausdauer in a single run. That is pretty hefty. There's actually a sizable amount of uh, horse-themed, uh, I guess, AMVs, for lack of a better term, featuring Push to the Limit. I see. This was actually knowledge that I would probably have been better off not knowing, <laughs> but... Ah. <coughs> Alright, let's see if we can't get a copyright strike that makes it impossible for this video to be uploaded. <laughs> YouTube. Yeah, YouTube does. And so do I, since they can actually limit my account, which means that I suddenly can't upload videos anymore. Oh, it's YouTube. And it would also be sort of disastrous if we couldn't actually get, a le you know, a video of the level 5 Fire Steed, because the video itself is illegal to upload. I guess I could put it on my own web space. <laughs> All oh, right. People need to see these horses. Need Let's release to the masses. Up. Yeah, Tom Fuller brings up the last trucking stream had a bunch of 80s music in it, so... I actually got one! But apparently they didn't bother with it too much. You'll have to go back to the 1920s, so none of it's copyright anymore. <laughs> Speaking of music, the uh, the Your Dad theme song. Oh the yeah. The process of being retarded. <laughs> I got the the MIDI draft done. I just gotta make it sound nice with all the recording. <laughs> the heck was that? Nice timing on the jump there. How long has this horse session been? 
That's a good question, actually. Let's not think about it. That is not pushing it to the limit, horse. <laughs> Perhaps the Your horse has already reached the, the limit. No, <laughs> not yet. No, no, there is no limit. Perhaps we should push it past the limit. Yes. Instead of just to the limit. To infinity and beyond. Indeed. Nay. <laughs> Dressage really becomes a lot better with Push It to the Limit. The horse is not even really doing anything, it's just galloping. It's moving at the right speed. That is what dressage is all about. <laughs> oh dear. Sneen, you do not gain anything if you don't press any buttons, no. You get zero. Which is exactly why we actually have to try. And if we get too low a rank, we will actually have to do it four times rather than three we've been doing so far. Which is something I want to avoid by all means necessary. I actually realized something, that since this is a f fire seed, we probably should have used like Hearts on Fire or even Vangelis' Chariots of Fire to do it. But I know or do know... On fire from initial D. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, uh, yeah, let's just bring anime back into this, why not? Steed's on fire. A cover that needs to be done. I should find a karaoke version of the song. <laughs> I'll get right on that. You better win it. Horse puns. God damn, this is taking. Push it to the limit. No one left to stand in your way. You might get no one left to stand in your way, the song goes, as the horse just tears down every fucking obstacle despite me doing perfect. <sighs> I think this game hates people on C41 wants them to die. The at least the physics objects are hilarious. Oh dear. the game music slowly fades in again. But fuck that noise! Oh hey, looks like we'll be able to finish this with a uh, sled pull. Nice, I like Ooh. that. I like the sled pull.
Here we go. The final blank stag. Push it to the limit. This is the favorite minigame. Look yep. at those legs. Look at those legs working it. And it also fits the song better than perhaps any other. I mean, how many tons does that not have to be at this point? Push those joints to the breaking point. Buff horse. What happens if you fail here? What does the horse do? That is an excellent question. I actually never have failed this. We'll have to try with the next generation. I'm more curious now. Ow. Perhaps this lead just spins out of control and crushes the horse. The physics and it just goes crazy and the blocks fly everywhere. Yes. Like in that boss game. You haven't actually tried failing any of these courses, have you? Well, I did run, just run through the forest course once to see if you got any points, and that was sort of hilarious because it would just headbutt logs out of the way and smash through things. <laughs> Horses give no fucks in this game. That's the real way to train a horse. Just fuck it all and let it go. All right, let's send you off on your quest as the Go music fades out. Bravely. And there we go.